So what are the tactics that they're using in this war on religious liberty? Well, the first thing they do is they use executive orders to shut down our churches. You may know that's what happened in California. The governor of California used COVID as an opportunity to shut down the churches. The churches in California had to go all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court in order to have the right to hold their weekly services. The second thing that they do is they use court cases to attack our schools. In the public schools, they want to outlaw any Christian influence. So no Bibles, no Christian history, no prayers in our public schools. And they don't stop there. They're attacking Christian schools now using federal discrimination laws to try to force Christian schools to hire teachers who do not believe in Christianity. The third thing that they do is they use court cases to try to outlaw any Christian influence in our public, in our public life. So they want to destroy any monuments that we have, public monuments that have any Christian symbols on them. They want to take down crosses that have been erected to honor our war dead. Next thing they do is they use the courts to go after uh, and destroy the ability of faithful Christians to make their living. You may know the story of Jack Phillips in the Masterpiece Cake Shop. He declined respectfully to design a cake for a gay wedding based on his religious beliefs, and the state of Colorado went after him, imposing fines of hundreds of thousands of dollars, not because he wouldn't do the cake, but because he was a Christian that was in their orders. He had to go all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court to keep his religious liberty. And as soon as he won that case in the U.S. Supreme Court, if you Google his name, you'll see that malicious activists have now filed two more lawsuits against him. Now, another tactic they use is to use government regulations to try to destroy Christian businesses. You may have heard of Hobby Lobby and the Hobby Lobby case several years ago. The federal government gave Hobby Lobby a fine of $475 million a year. That fine was designed to destroy the business because it had Christian ownership. What was it that Hobby Lobby did that deserved a $475 million fine? They declined to give abortion-causing drugs in their health plans. They used federal regulations to go after Christian universities as well. My own university, Houston Baptist University, was fined $12 million a year for the same reason. We would not give abortion-causing drugs in our health plans either. That fine is nothing compared to the 475 million, but Houston Baptist University financially is nothing compared to Hobby Lobby. And this fine, if we had had to pay it, would have put us out of existence. Fortunately, praise God, your pastor, who's one of my heroes, Pastor Greg, was the chairman of our board of trustees and made the decision that we would fight this, and we had to take it all the way to the Supreme Court to preserve our religious liberty. Now, the last thing that they do and this is new, is they are starting to pass laws that affirmatively take away religious liberty. So the way that Hobby Lobby won their case was there's a federal statute called the Restoration of Religious Freedom Act. The House of Representatives passed a bill on February 25th, 2021, that takes away our religious rights under that statute. And it's now pending in the Senate. Hey, thanks for watching. To find out more about Houston's First, you can subscribe to our channel or you can go to houstonsfirst.org.